Um, you know, coming back and looking at what's, you know, gone on since I've been gone, this is just amazing. Um, I, you know, I owe it all to this university um, for things that I've achieved in my life. Um, I've also, I owe it to my teammates and to my coach and, uh, you know, the athletic department here. It's, it's something that, it's quite an honor. I'm completely blown away by everything that's transpired, you know, with all these accolades that have come my way. But, you know, just coming back and just looking around and I'm really proud to be here and proud to, you know, have my face up there with Dante. Um, it means a lot and, you know, it was through hard work and dedication and, you know, the daily um, thing about coming out here and working with my teammates and, you know, just doing the right thing. And uh, I'm really happy to be here. Well, first and foremost, I spent a little time over there at the uh, old field bringing uh, back a few memories. Actually saw that uh, massive skunk that was over there or woodchuck or something that ate up the field. Uh, but seriously, it was great to be back today. Uh, Coach sharabi has got an unbelievable team. Uh, knocked it around well. Uh, beautiful facilities, without question. Uh, what uh, Robert Lindeberg has done and uh, uh, his, his staff, uh, incredible. Getting to see Sue Williams, let's move on to that. She looks like she, she can still play, without question. Uh, you know, this is a great place. I spent uh, 10 years, 10 of the best years of my life with uh, this or those teams that I had and of course those two goal scorers up there and uh, special times for me. Uh, you know, coach there at Alabama for 14, but the 10 I spent here were extremely special. And uh, good, to, good to, you know, get back here and see some friends, old friends, and uh, glad to be back. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, just, it's just been a process, you know, of getting experience, getting confidence. And, you know, these players are just starting to really believe in themselves and each other. And, uh, you know, we still got a long way to go. And, uh, but no, getting those two road wins was a, a huge goal for us. You know, we took, you know, each one and, you know, got our team ready. And, um, you know, we played well. We're a little fortunate here and there. And, and so, uh, but, you know, then coming back home and, and getting the win today, um, you know, I thought, uh, thought our team played really well today. I mean, it feels great that we are in first. Um, those are, that was a really good team and I feel like we possessed them really well so I think it's good that we got the win over them. Yeah it is I mean I'm so happy that we could get the win for Sue today I mean she deserves it as much as she gave to this program over the years uh, it was nice to give a small gift of a win to her today um, you know and uh, uh, but uh, it's been a great day and uh, you know it's a you know, we, we can celebrate in a lot of ways be happy. To get a breakaway once again here is Ratliff sending it over. Casara has got an easy shot opportunity, but it was taken away on the kick, and then she turns and sends it in anyway. Over on the left side. Boy, Jasmine did not stop on that play. The defense was there at first. And how about Casares now? She has tied. Winthrop and UNC Asheville from doing, and they don't want to be beaten on their home field. Well, so far to Radford, off, off to a great start. Casara sneaks in there. The header is in. Oh my goodness gracious, what a play! The setup from the left side, Jasmine Casares now takes over the conference leading goals with her seventh, her second of the game.